Hello there, as an economist, part of my job is to try and make predictions for the future, which always reminds me something an old boss would say. Economists were invented to make weather forecasters and astrologers look good. Well, undeterred by that frankly very unfair jibe, in this episode we are going to try and gaze into the crystal ball and look at some of the trends and themes likely to drive markets in 2024. Welcome to I See Your Trade Extra. I'm your host, Alex Holmes from Oxford Economics. I See Your Trade is brought to you by IC Markets, a leading high performance trading provider. Trade up to IC Markets. Okay, what we're going to do is look at a series of three charts that show a few of the big thematics for 2024. If you're listening to audio only, don't worry, I'll talk you through the data, or you can take a moment now to switch on your video screen. So, the overriding theme for 2024 is likely to be slowing global growth and how central banks walk that very fine line between balancing fears about sticky inflation against growing risks to growth. This chart shows the predicted growth forecasts by a consensus of economists from now until 2025. Emerging markets are miles out in front of the G4 economies, with growth particularly slow in the UK and Eurozone. And considering interest rates in the US are at a 22-year high, the US has had a pretty good run over the last year. In fact, that's putting it mildly, the less understated description of recent growth would be that the US economy is going like the clappers. The already lofty Q3 GDP growth estimate was recently upgraded to 5.2% annualised. That's much, much faster than any kind of estimate of trend growth. But it is generally agreed that the steam will come out of the world's largest economy next year. Predictions vary, but they go from a gentle slowdown to a mild recession. And an early indicator of that could be the recent run-up in the gold price. How things progress will have big implications for the US dollar. We've seen this already in November, during which the US dollar suffered its biggest monthly drop in more than a year. Markets were worrying that growth and also inflation would take longer to cool, which meant that the Fed would have to come down even harder to hit its mandate. But they're now pricing in the so-called Goldilocks scenario of a gentle growth slowdown and continued disinflation. As recently as October, markets weren't pricing in any major cuts into 2024. But markets now see a 25% chance that the Fed will begin cutting rates as early as March 24, and a 45% chance by May. The timing and extent of rate cuts will determine the attractiveness of holding US dollar assets, and determine whether the US dollar will retreat further from the almost unprecedented strength it reached in early Q4. So we've got slowing growth, potentially interest rate cuts. How will this impact the stock market? Well, 2023 was certainly the year of the Magnificent Seven. I'm talking about seven mega cap stocks that helped drive the S&P 500 up about 20%. Those were Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft, Amazon, Meta, Nvidia, and Tesla. These stocks were absolutely hoovered up by investors amid all the macro uncertainty. But has this tech mega cap euphoria run its course? Will the Magnificent Seven stay to defend the town or should investors saddle up for a long and bumpy ride? Well, maybe history can be a guide here. We've been here before after all. In the early 70s, people were prepared to pay huge multiples for stocks among the Nifty 50, US big blue chips. Lots of these companies are still massive. Cisco, Dell, McDonald's and Coca-Cola have all reliably paid dividends to investors over the years. But in terms of capital appreciation, the picture is much more mixed. High valuations after all create a really hard starting point to keep exceeding. But the market can stay irrational far longer than you can say solvent. And for the near term at least, the Magnificent Seven might remain hard to avoid. One reason is that amid a slowing economy, companies with earnings growth become scarce and investors may pay more for the few that remain. That attention would fall to those corporations where innovation, cutting edge technologies or market power put them above the whims of the economic cycle. And what I've described is exactly the kind of basket Microsoft, Nvidia, Tesla, etc. could continue to fall into. So what can we conclude? Well, probably just that it's not going to be a straightforward matter of growth slows, stock markets down, or interest rates fall, stocks rise. 2024 looks set to be another weird and interesting year for investors. That's it. Thanks for tuning in to IC Your Trade Extra. IC Your Trade is brought to you by IC Markets, a leading high performance trading provider. Trade up to IC Markets. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Have a happy new year.